everybody rich with uh, the YouTube channel prep you hey it uh, is Thursday so what happens on Thursday obviously is the uh, range tip of the week and this one I can't believe I haven't really done this one before uh, and as the title suggests on this video uh, we're gonna be talking about squib loads a lot of people don't even know what a squib load is uh, and or how dangerous a squib load can be um, it happened again today at the uh, at the range but let's start with a definition of what a squib squib load is it's hard time saying it I guess so anyhow a squib load so you guys can hear me let me do this and gals all right so a squib load also known as a squib round pop or no kick or just a squib is a fire mal firearm malfunction in which a fired projectile does not have enough force behind it to exit the barrel and thus becomes stuck. This type of malfunction can be extremely dangerous as failing to notice that the projectile has become stuck in the barrel may result in another round being fired directly into the obstruction. Pretty much says the whole thing. And it doesn't matter if it's a pistol round or a rifle round. Basically what's happened, we'll, we'll take a, a rifle round, is the, the squib loads that I have noticed, um, most of them were, were from guys that uh, reload their own um, bullets. Uh, although tonight's was a manufactured bullet, uh, basically what happens, and you can hear it, if you're, but if you're not trained to know the sound, you're not you're not going to hear it or if it's the range is really loud you may not notice it but you are going to notice no kickback whatsoever and truly no kickback at all because what normally happens is you have the round all right the primer fires primer fires and it gives it just enough push the projectile or the bullet to go into your barrel now why would that happen? Either it's a bad gunpowder, no gunpowder, or not enough gunpowder. Um, I have seen squib loads where it was a half load of gunpowder, and the primer did ignite it, and it went into the barrel. And I've also seen it where there was no gunpowder inside uh, the case. To be honest with you, the best thing that can happen to you is there's no gunpowder. If you're going to get a squib load, no gunpowder. And I was, the reason I say this is, as happened tonight at the range with a squib load, we all heard it, and the gentleman knew right off the bat that there was something wrong. And before I could get to him, he already had his pistol taken apart. He says, I think I have the bullet stuck in the barrel. And I says, you're right. It is. And he says, can you get it out? I says, no. I can't get it out with the tools I have. That, that's something that, you know, a gunsmith uh, would have the proper tools to get it out and all that. Um, but the reason he noticed it, not only uh, the sound, uh, the bullet didn't eject, all right, or the, sh the casing did not e eject. And when he ejected it, because he wasn't sure exactly right off the bat, the next round did not feed all the way in. And that's how I've seen most of the squib loads at the range. Now, the range I've been working at, I've been working there for 10 years, and probably maybe five squib loads out of all those rounds when I've worked there. Uh, other RSOs have noticed it, have seen it happen. Uh, we've been very lucky that uh, nothing serious has happened. Um, but if you have a bullet that has a little bit of gunpowder in it and is the primer goes off and it's enough to send that bullet halfway down the barrel, and I don't care if it's a rifle, I don't care if it's a pistol, um, you may not know that you had a squib load, okay? You may get a little bit of kick. Especially someone that hasn't shot before or hasn't shot very much, you may not notice that there wasn't enough kick. The sound was weird. You may not notice that. 
in El Chamber another round because the, the, the bullet is lodged further down the barrel. So what happens when you pull the trigger? Nothing good, I'll tell you right off the bat, nothing good will come from that next round firing. I've seen or heard, I shouldn't say seen because I haven't seen it, heard where uh, barrels have exploded, uh, where people have uh, seriously in serious injuries to, injuries to their hands, to their face, uh, chest, arms. Um, it all depends on what kind of firearm you have because all different manufacturers have higher, higher or lower specs. None of them are rated for a squib load, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, that force is going somewhere, and if it can't go out the barrel, it's going out the side of the barrel, or it's going to come back uh, at you. So it's very important uh, that you know what a squib load is and what to do. If you pull the trigger and nothing happens whatsoever, bad primer, no big deal. You just, you know, chamber a new round. But if it pops or you feel, a, uh, you hear something, just a slight sound to it, or if you n notice something is terribly wrong, um, you definitely want to, especially if it chambers another round, drop your magazine, clear that round, send a rod through and make sure that it's clear. It might be clear. You may just, you know, you may imagine it, but it's better to check your barrel than not. All right. So remember squid loads are very, very dangerous and you could get seriously injured or somebody with you could get seriously injured. You know, because we don't always shoot at indoor ranges. When we're shooting outdoor ranges, you're not really in an enclosed area like you are uh, in an indoor range. And there could be a lot of people, your kids, your wife, your husband, your significant other, um, could be next to you. Uh, so shooting is fun, but you need to pay attention. These are the kind of things that you need to know. They don't teach you this uh, in most classes that I know of. Um, but it's one thing that uh, really needs to be uh, brought forward to everybody about squib loads. And if you are going to reload your own stuff, that's why it is so extremely important that you're not loading while you're watching a TV show or you're playing with the dogs or whatever because a squib load could be produced by not paying attention. All right. So that's really it. I really wanted to bring that forward uh, because it happened again tonight at the range. Uh, another squib load with a happy ending because, matter of fact, that our uh, our gunsmith was there and they were able to get the uh, the bullet out of the barrel, and um, everything was good. And I co I commended the guy on noticing what the sound was uh, when he heard it. So that's it. Rich Lang with uh, Prep U, bringing another uh, range tip of the week. This one about squib loads and the, the danger of them. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We appreciate it. Pass this video along to all your friends uh, that shoot, especially your new shooters, because they need to know what, you know, and ask them what a, you know, ask them, do they know what a squib load is and what they need to do if it happens? Uh, the warning signs of it also, you know, a pop, uh, a pop. A slight uh, uh, reaction to the bull being fired just not normal something's different something's weird uh, when they shoot uh, but have them subscribe too so they can be uh, better knowledge at uh, firearms and also I get a little prepping knowledge in at the same time so this is rich saying goodbye take care and we'll see you next video